with uh, one of my sons who had emergency surgery so didn't quite get to filming this when I had intended to but we will go through everything now and yeah so the whole premise of this particular project was just to explore my collection play with a few things have a bit of fun wasn't really intending to finish anything I did declutter one item and finish one item however so the one I finished was oil of the oil of aloe moisture rich anti wrinkle day cream this is like an off brand type thing that came from chemist warehouse um, and this was for time lord this is completely done and will be in my final empties of the year the product that i decluttered was the monomolo uh, long lasting lip color in sexy red this was for river song or Hello Sexy, um, sorry, not River Song, Idris, anyway, uh, I'm decluttering this, I didn't reach for this once, I had no intention of doing so, this is actually one of those tattoo type ones where you put it on, wait for it to dry, then peel it off, it, it doesn't appeal, so I decluttered that one, um, for Moisturize Me, we had the Australis Makeup Spritz, I was here when I started and now I am down here. Um, I did put some of this into a different sprayer because for some reason this particular bottle, the sprayer doesn't work very well. Um, this is one of my favourite makeup finishing spritzes at the moment. I don't know that it actually sets my makeup. Um, like today it's quite warm, um, like humid and um, it's not really setting anything. So, <laughs> I don't know that it's great, but um, I like it. For Donna Noble, we had the Girly Cosmetics lipstick in Firecracker Red, which is more of an orange than a red. Um, I, I used it a little bit. There's you know, still a fair bit in there. Uh, for Unit, I had this MAC. Trio. I actually did use this quite a bit when I was doing makeup. I tended to pull it out every time I did makeup, um, particularly this one here. Not that you can really tell um, any progress because um, I actually got the second hand. So um, the progress that is in there was mostly the other person, not me. <laughs> but it's really the first time I've ever used MAC shadows, and I have to say, I quite liked them. I wasn't like super thrilled with them, but I liked them. Next for Sonic, we have the Rimmel eyeshadow stick in Tempting Turquoise, which is very turquoise. Um, I used this a few times. actually quite enjoyed using it. I like using blues and greens and teals, so this was kind of like right up my alley when it comes to those things. For Celery, which is a reference to Peter Davison's Doctor, we have Cargo's Green Bay which is one of those eyeshadows which, you know, you can use lots of it and it never looks any different. Um, it doesn't look like I touched it and I used this quite a few times. I'm on the one that just is going back in the collection. <laughs> For Gallifrey, we had the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Stereo Rose. This is more of a blush on me than anything else. I mean, clearly. Um, I picked it mainly because it reminded me a bit of Gallifrey. Um, I quite like it. Um, it is just something that will be uh, stuck back in the collection for now. Um, I enjoyed using it. I, as This is actually the most MAC products I've ever used at once in a project. Um, usually I just have like a lipstick. Then we had for Susan, we had the So Susan Lip Dome in Black Current. Um, I thought this would go like really quickly because it like I thought it would be like really soft and smooshy. There's actually heaps still left in there. It's actually quite a stiff product. I actually really enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I would. I haven't had a huge amount of luck with So Susan products before, um, so I was I was pretty impressed by that one. Uh, 
then for Sarah Jane, we had the L'Oreal Clear Lip Liner. I honestly only used this a couple of times. I had other lip liners and other projects that I was actually focusing on. I ended up finishing like three lip liners last year, uh, this year. I feel like it's next year already. Uh, so this really didn't get used, so it'll just go back in the collection. For the favourite product, we have our favourite doctor, we had the NYX Purple Mascara for the Ninth Doctor. I quite enjoy this mascara, except that it doesn't look particularly purple. It kind of just makes your lashes darker. I tend to only use it on the bottom lashes. For the Oud, we had the Rimmel in the Nude Eyeliner. This really didn't get used um, a whole lot. It's still still got heaps left in it. Um, it just, I mean, I used it occasionally. It just wasn't really something I was reaching for. Uh, for Ice Warriors, we had NYX Diamond Lust, which is just a white shimmery eyeshadow. Um, I used it a few times. It's got like a, a chunk missing up there, which is where I kind of concentrate my brush. This is actually going into a project for next year. Uh, one of the only products that actually is. In fact, in this one, the only product that is. Uh, for K9, uh, which was ones, I added four more partway through. Um, I have the L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in Flashback Silver. I actually really like this. I used this quite a few times. It's a really beautiful kind of uh, lilac y shade. Um, yeah, really, really like that one. Um, for Impossible Girl, I put in the Clean Color uh, Matte Lipstick in Raven. I uh, used this a couple of times. It's not a go to everyday color for me. And for Amy, I had the um, Lacquer & Co Boss Lady. I don't actually think I ended up using this in the end. Um, I was using other lipsticks, so it didn't get used. Um, yeah. So basically that is everything that was in my 12 Doctors of Christmas project pan, which is my last project pan for 2017. Um, I am about to start filming all of my projects that are starting at the start of the year. There's a few of them. There's a lot of stuff to get through. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that. I will leave you a link of some other people down below who were also doing this with me. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.